I'm back. Well, this is uh, episode eight. Yeah, this is the one where I take the body and I take the neck just behind us over there and spray them with a lacquer. Now, this lacquer that I chose wasn't any old lacquer. Let's just talk about lacquer for two minutes and then you're going to watch it uh, be sprayed. Hmm. Okay, so this is the lacquer I use. This one's uh, from a company called Halfords in the UK. It's a bit like, I don't know, whatever you have in America. <laughs> yeah, Pet Boys or some, some place like that. It's an advanced acrylic based formulation of Halfords clear lacquer. It's compatible with virtually all types of paint finishes. Automotive, it says. Yeah. So for me, I've used this before and I happen to know that it does do a pretty good job. And if you screw up <laughs> at any stage, uh, it sort of helps a little bit. Yeah. Now what you're actually looking at here is the body after it's been done. Uh, this is a few days later. Uh, if you look carefully, you probably see down here, yeah, somewhere, somewhere around there, a sort of a shine. It's a funny shine that you have to sort of touch up a little bit with a bit of paper and things like that. And then we've got some method of turning this into hopefully uh, what will be sort of like a glass finish but you know I'm not perfect never really done this before like this and uh, I'm happy so far but you're gonna see how it was done that's the first thing so let's go and have a look now and uh, see just uh, what was involved in spraying this clear lacquer on the body and on the neck Okay, well, here we are outside in the uh, in the shed or the garage, it is actually, and uh, there's the body. I've got the neck over there, so I'm going to spray the body. We're going to give it a bit of a rest, give it a few coats, about 20 minutes between coats should be fine, and uh, build up a little bit as we go. I might rub it down a little bit in between, but I might not, and uh, I'll cover all that sort of stuff later. Uh, when we have a little chat after the video because in here I'm going to have masks on and all sorts of things going on there'll be no talking or anything like that you can just watch what happens you can see I've hung the uh, guitar on a piece of wood so I can sort of move it around a little bit as we go it's not in there too much but just enough and uh, yeah I'm going to get down to it so I'm going to do this one I'm going to fit the neck I'm going to do the neck and uh, when it's all dry and the rest of it, you'll see me back in the house, you know, where I normally sit. <laughs> so that's it for now. Just uh, enjoy. Yeah, or not. You'll be laughing your socks off and I'll be uh, on edge. But there you go. That's what it's about. And don't forget to use the tack rag that's sitting over there before you spray, won't you? Tack rag. Okay, well I've done a quick rub down and I've used the tack rag on it again. I had a couple of little tiny runs and you've got to watch for them. Uh, just the slightest bit too much in one area and uh, out it comes, a little drip. Fortunately this sort of stuff dries quick that I'm using and uh, it's a simple matter to just rub it back and you want to do that if you see any of those. If you don't see any, well to be honest, you could probably quite happily carry on giving coat after coat. You don't need hundreds of coats, but you just need enough coats to make it work for you. Okay, well it's got a coat. As you can see, let me come to the other side. <laughs> it's got a coat as you can see. I've got a, a few little drips that actually spilled onto the back. 
from the actual uh, sprayer which is a bit of a pain in the neck and uh, you might well get the same well you didn't, well you didn't you do well uh, well there's a few there's a few little bits and pieces around this guitar that want uh, flatting off afterwards and I think I'm going to have to do that, I can't really do any more in here uh, particularly on the body I think it's had a it's had a lot done to it and uh, it's about as good as I'm going to get. Remember, I'm only like you. I'm not perfect either. Oh, you are. <laughs> he shouldn't be here. <laughs> so there it is. There's a little run up the top. Just there. I'm going to leave it for now. There's them on the back. And I did have one here before, which I think I've got rid of now. But I think that's as far as I can take the body. It just needs to dry uh, for a number of hours. So I'm going to move on to the neck. And one thing you can do, just to help it along a bit, I've got one of these little portable things. It's about a kilowatt. And you can sort of blow it onto it, as long as there's no dust in the area, and there isn't here, so it's all good. So you just turn it on, and uh, give it a bit of a blow job. <laughs> like that. And that'll help dry it off much quicker than it would otherwise be. It doesn't look too bad a, a job. Not for a first one at least, let's put it that way. Okay, well here we are ready to do the neck. My neck wants doing, I'm doing this. Oh my god. Yeah, there it is. And uh, I want to keep it nice and dry and nice and warm. And very light coats is the answer. Anything else and it's going to run. It's run a couple of places on the body. And so I don't really want to get it running down here, do I? Down the front. Well, down the back I can fix that. But I'll be careful. And I think what I will do with this is spray it like this. And hang it up after. When it's had five minutes in front of the heating. It makes a lot of difference. Bear it in mind, won't you? And always remember, tack rag first. coat the front of this uh, neck on the uh, on the board don't do too much just enough and lightly the secret is lightly we can always rub it down and buff it and all the rest later remember get it as dry as you can okay well I've done the neck uh, I've got a couple of little places on this that just need flatting back very slightly and I don't think it will need another coat, it just needs just that little bit of flatting. The rest of the neck on the uh, fretboard is uh, pretty cool. On the back, and I didn't overdo this uh, because I don't want it to actually glossy. Top of the neck's glossy, front of the neck's glossy, but down here you want it to sort of matte finish and uh, by the time I've done a very light rub of it, uh, that's exactly what I'll get. So this is now ready to take back in when it's dried. It's nearly dry now, you can see, front and back. It hasn't been that long on the neck, but on the body it took about, uh, well I've been spraying that. I was spraying it for about three hours in total, you know. Well it's been absolutely horrible weather out there, uh, with gales, wind, snow, you name it. So I have the heaters blasting in here, and uh, I think I've got away without much uh, dust. There's no real dust going on in here, and uh, you just keep the heaters going all the time, and uh, it gives you a bit of an environment where you can actually achieve a result, which was surprising to me a little bit. I was expecting it to be worse than it is. I actually did uh, spray this vertically, but also on the last coat for the front and the back, I actually sprayed it flat like this. So I went over the top with the piece of wood we have that holds the thing uh, and then I uh, had the uh, hot air on that, flipped it over, did the same with the back, had a couple of spatters on the back, but you'll get to see that. And 
yeah, dried that in the same way and off we went. I just wanted to cover that just because it's not actually on the video. Well, there you go. You can see I'm not a great sprayer, but I'm not bad either. Uh, it's a pity about you get sometimes these little bits off the nozzle uh, on this type of can. If you've got a proper spray gun, it always helps. I keep saying I'm going to buy one, but I, I never actually do. I'm like that. So by using one of them, you can get a result. And uh, I'm going to bring the camera in just a little bit closer so you can see the sort of finish that I achieved. Yeah. Well, there it is. And if you look very close, you can see the sort of gloss along here, down this edge. But you can also see it along the back with the reflections off the window, because uh, I've got some, uh, you know, blinds up there. It's a sort of semi, nearly gloss finish. Some places it's a bit more glossy than others, but that's just a bit of overspray. And that's the sort of finish that you really need to achieve when you're doing it, right? If you rush and put piles of it on, it will run. You've got to go relatively slow with this stuff. Let me show you the back of this uh, body so you get an idea of what's going on there too. And as you can see, that's probably a better example to show you because it reflects from this. Uh, it's a sort of sheen. Uh, and it's, it's about three layers thick as this... Uh, this finish that's on the body. It's round the edge, on the back, on the front, and it's all pretty reasonable. Now I did add the blotches on the back down here, but I can tell you what, you, you can hardly see them. You, they sort of, what happened when I finished the, uh, the back, when it was flat as a last coat, these blotches appeared on there, came straight out of the nozzle, but they sort of moulded in or dissipated is a good word into the other finish and I'm quite happy that well to be honest I can't even I, I can just about make them out right there there and there but by the time we've finished uh, you probably will never see them another examples in this area where you can see well that one did get a lot of thick coats uh, so it was a little bit thicker there than it is in some of these other places but I'm not really too concerned about that I think we can get the rest of this up to a pretty nice finish well probably like that uh, with a little bit of luck yeah let's take a look at the neck now straight away I'm pretty sure you can see the sheen on that neck and that was uh, actually down this neck it only had two very thin coats I didn't put too much on because uh, I didn't really want to have a big fat thick finish on there if you get me uh, it feels at the moment well quite nice actually you look at the uh, top part of the neck let's get the glass going there it is you can see there aren't uh, any runs or anything like that and it's a, it's a very nice finish uh, it, it won't take much to get that that just finished off nicely around the front I gave the front uh, although it looks hyper shiny Actually, it only had one coat, and the reason it only had one coat is we're going to be putting on a, a fender logo on there. Yeah, I'll need the lacquer to go over the fender uh, transfer uh, so that it's a permanent thing. Now, down on the front here of this, I wouldn't say that's perfect, but I'm just going to rub it back a little bit. It only had one coat, because that's, I think, all it needs. I'm just going to rub it back a little bit with a bit of wire wool. And that bit should be fine. So that's the neck. Look at the gloss on that. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it too. So there it is so far. What do you think? Put down in the text what you think. And uh, don't expect it to be, you know, a hyper finished gloss uh, with no extra work when you're using a lacquer type in a tin like this. What you have to do is you have to go and cut it back and then polish it and that will be well number nine in the list which is the next one after this and uh, that should be very interesting. That will be just enough to finish it off and I think it's going to come out pretty nice actually. Well there was one thing, uh, a little tip. 
I'd made a couple of pieces of wood that I sort of screwed on to the body and onto the neck. What I did is I got a couple of nuts. When I put the screws through, I put nuts underneath to lift this off the body a little bit and lift it off the neck a little bit. So I could actually, on the neck in particular, spray underneath it. Because if you don't do that, you're going to end up with this patch that doesn't get any coating. Yeah, I put it on the, the body too, but there's no painter or finish going in there. But, but that was one of the little tips uh, I can tell you that worked for me. By the way, this is a 500ml uh, tin of uh, clear lacquer. And I would say there's probably easily a third of it left. So you probably only need one tin if you're getting a 500ml. And if you're getting 250s, well, I'd probably get two. So let's recap where we are. We've put the clear gloss on. We've got a tremolo that now works. <laughs> I've got the uh, tuners. I've got the pickups. I've got the pit guard or scratch plate. I've got everything really. Yeah. I've got the board that fits in there. I've got the thing for the batteries that fits in the back. There's one thing I'm waiting for, and that's actually a uh, neck plate, a custom shop neck plate. But it is on its way, and it's going to be with me by the time we get to uh, assemble, so nothing lost there, is there? Well, that's it for now. If you've got any queries about uh, how to do yours, or how to get out of problems that you probably will experience in the same way that I did, uh, no problem, just put them down there in the text and uh, I'll tell you what I did if I had the problem that you think you have. Uh, yeah, don't forget to visit uh, www.tonymackenzie.com. There's always something on there. Well, unless, uh, unless you've been there regularly, there's lots to look at. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to uh, section nine of the series, which is polishing. And it's not as hard as you think. <laughs> Trust me, it isn't. So that's it. I'll see you next time. And don't forget, stay safe out there. It's all still going on, isn't it? Now get out of here. <laughs>